Hello, this is Rick Baxter. In this short movie, I'm going to give you an example of how to use the uh, feature, one of the features in Foundation Pack for printing and sending your documents via a PDF attachment. And I'm going to first show you how, how it works, and then I'll show you how you set it up. So let's get right to it. I'm going to use it from, uh, actually I'll just do it from a sales quote. So I'm going to go to a sales quote. I've got three samples here. Let's go to, I'll go to Seligorian. And so here's the quote document. Now what most of you are familiar with is actually just physically printing the quotation and uh, then maybe faxing it to them or um, somehow generating it uh, um, and, and maybe uh, scanning the document and sending it as a PDF, something like that. Well, we've kind of combined uh, all of that with a new option here called Send as PDF. So right from here, instead of actually printing the document, you can now send as PDF. Let me just click this, and you'll watch how, how this works. So I click Send as PDF. Give it just a minute to open up. Oh, it came up on the other screen. I'll bring this over here. So it basically, it puts in who you want to send it to. So it puts in their name. Now, I've got my name in here as a sample, but it would be who you're sending it to at your uh, at that uh, customer. In this case, it's a Seligorian. And then it's going to put the subject matter in, which is quote number 1005. The attachment is the quote document itself. Right there is the quote. And it automatically puts in Dear Rick or whoever you're sending it to. Attached is your requested quotation. Thank you, Rick Baxter, and then my uh, phone number. So, uh, in fact, you can even um, look at the quote. So I could just, uh, if you want to just double check to see what it looks like, you can hit open. And right from here, I'll open up the sales quote. So here is the quote uh, document itself. So it uses the, uh, now I'm using it with our reports pack. This is uh, an example of a sales quote out of the cost control software reports pack. But it puts in your company name here. It would put in uh, who you're selling it to here, what the ship to information is, uh, various terms uh, for the quotation, the line items that you are uh, quoting would be shown down here or any comments that you might have uh, typed in and then down at the bottom you'll have a place for um, your company uh, email address uh, a phone number call on us and fax number and a place for the customer um, assuming that they accept it they would then be able to print it and fax it back to you as their acceptance of your proposal which is the mission of a uh, price proposal in the first place. So you would just hit send and away it goes. In fact, let me just do that. Let me hit send. I don't know if I've got my Outlook open. Let me open up Outlook here. Hadn't thought about doing that, but since I was sending it to myself, this will actually probably work. So um, hopefully I'm not going to share too much with you here on my Outlook. Let's just... Uh, give that a minute to kind of uh, get generated. In fact, let me do a send and receive and see if it comes in. Give it just a second to go out and see if there's a new one. It actually has to go out and find it and then come back. I don't know if it's going to find it. It might. So there's one other or, oh, there it is, right there. So perfect. So I just click on it. So it came in. Okay, good. So it comes to me, looks just like any other email, and it's got my name up here, and it's got, you know, who it's from. This wouldn't really be from me to, to me, but I'm just doing that as this example. And then if I want to see the quote, I would just click on it. I could save it, or I could just open it up. <clears throat> and there's the quote document that came to me via email. Pretty cool stuff. So now, that's how it works. By the way, that works on not just quotes. Let me give you an example here. If I go to um, vendors, so probably on, on vendors if you're sending out uh, purchase orders, so if you're uh, doing an actual purchase order or a new purchase order, you'll see on the purchase order document, we also have the send as <clears throat> send as PDF option here as well. 
Oh, and there's also a save as PDF. So if you just want to save the document rather than sending it, you can actually just save a, a PDF version of it for uh, some other use. Now, how do we set all this stuff up? So easy, so easy. We've made this real easy for you. I'm just going to go into this example here in Salagorian, Salagorian, and under related information under customers, there's a choice called email communication. So I just open that up. Let's go into that customer. And these are the defaults. So we have a default for quotes. In other words, you probably have somebody that you normally send a quote document to at that customer, at this Selegorian customer. Same for order acknowledgments. Who do you send your acknowledgments to? Who do you send your invoices to? The invoices might go to somebody different than who you send to as the uh, quotation. Same for uh, credit memos. It works for credit memos as well. And then if you're sending to a vendor, it would be basically on vendors we've only done uh, purchase orders. So if I was on a vendor file, um, we'll do London Postmaster here. Mail communication. In fact, I need to do a new one for them. But it would be who the vendor is, and then you just fill in the defaults um, as far as, well, you wouldn't send a a vendor quote you would send the a purchase order so down here on the PO <clears throat> is what you would fill out for that particular uh, a vendor and that's it um, pretty simple very easy to install it comes with our foundation pack only is available when you purchase the foundation pack um, this is listed I think as feature number 58 or 59 something like that you'll see that in the brochure if you don't have a brochure or foundation pack, certainly let us know and we'll get that to you. Um, that's it. Hope you like it.